Hi everyone, Michelle here from straw-berry.com. I'm a teacher, I'm a crafter, and I'm a DIYer. And today, we're going to be decorating school supplies to make them so much more fun. And, by the way, this video is intended for adults and young adults to make their own or to make them for someone who is younger. I have so many rolls of washi tape that I never use. Um, or these, this isn't actually washi tape. Washi tape is uh, thinner, and these are a plastic that I got in a kit, and that some of them are really cute. Like this one has cassette tape, it's got a kind of an 80s vibe going on. So I'm gonna cover this entire composition book in washi tape. take my craft knife and a ruler and I'm gonna go along this edge pretty it all up I'm just gonna go very lightly so that I cut the tapes but not the binding not the, the composition book and then I can pull all those off we have a nice clean edge if you don't mind the look you can just fold them over if you want a clean look you can just cut them with your scissors I've had these washies for several years and a lot of them were brand new it has a very 80s vibe to it here I have a paper folder and this is probably going to be the most difficult craft I also have some bottles of acrylic glue and I'm going to take them and I'm going to put A big glob, a small glob, I don't know, medium glob of paint here kind of towards the corner of each of these colors. Do you want to try to have each of the globs about the same size to each other? Now my original plan was to take an old gift card type thing, but I'm worried that it's not going to be quite large enough. So instead, I'm going to take a plastic ruler and I'm going to smush it into a rainbow. Ooh. I'm going to go back over, trying to make sure I get that red and that yellow. And one more time to get it to the bottom and let's see how this looks once it dries oop I should not have done that okay hands off here is my folder all dry and I'm taking this white marker this is a multi-surface walk marker that you can use it on like dry erase boards the black ones and I'm just adding some little dashes here and there and this marker is really weird in that you don't see it at first until it dries. Um, and I think I'll add my name. I think this folder is pretty cute. It has kind of an artsy rainbow look to it. Now for this spiral, I'm going to cover it in wrapping paper. You could use whatever wrapping paper you have if you're making this for your kids. Maybe they have a favorite character that they like that you want to use. Um, I'm just going to use this red polka dot. You could use Mod Podge or you can make your own Mod Podge. This is just like half glue, half water. So it comes out pretty runny. Hold on, this is about to get messy. I'm just going to spread this out with my fingers. I'm going to take my wrapping paper and I'm going to place it on top and I'm going to put more of the glue water on top. Cover all of it really well. Now you might want to do this because you didn't use all your school supplies last year since we left school in March or maybe you've been out of work so you have to use old school supplies and you just want to make them look new and bright and fun and friendly. Or maybe you just can't find anything you like in the store. All right, 
we're gonna let this dry. I probably used a little bit too much glue because this took forever to dry. Um, so now all I have to do is go through with my scissors and cut it out. And as you can tell, this was an old notebook, already has some writing in it. A cute little spiral that other people aren't going to have one like it because it's my wrapping paper. I love cute decorated pencils, but they don't work very well. They don't sharpen very well, and they are a pain. The leads break and everything. So I'm going to cover a yellow pencil by taking a strip of washi tape. And I found the easiest way is to tape the ends to the table so that you can actually get it on there straight. And then you're going to wrap that around. And it's going to take two strips. And this this one has a pattern, a striped pattern, so I do want to line up my patterns. So I'm going to look at it as I'm lining it up. Get that pattern lined up ah, and then roll it tight. Then I'm going to just kind of feel where the metal is for the eraser part. And you might be able to do it with your fingernail, depending on your washi tape, or just quickly take your craft knife and roll it around, roll the pencil around under the knife so that you can peel that off. And then same thing on this side. I try to just find where the, the since mine's already sharpened, I'm gonna find where the wood is kind of meeting. I'm using real washi this time instead of the more plastic stuff, just so that it can sharpen a little bit easier. You can put it through your sharpener. You are gonna have to clean your sharpener, it's getting a little gummy. And if there's a piece that starts to come off, just, you know, you can tear it, rip it a little bit and smooth it down. There you go. Who does not like their name on, say, their pencil box? And I like to put my letters on crooked because then if it looks like you've done it crooked on purpose, you don't have to take all that time to line them up perfectly. For my next trick, we're going to cover this old three ring binder. <laughs> it's a little dusty. And to do that, we're gonna use contact paper. Now I have been covering things with contact paper. I don't know, my mom used to cover things with contact paper. I've covered my dorm room counters. A rental house counters. Actually, I did the kitchen counters in this house before we had them um, redone. I've covered avocado green dishwashers. Um, back when my kitchen was pink. <laughs> um, there's so much you can do with contact paper. So I'm going to cut out a piece just a little bit bigger than my binder. You can see I'm not worrying about cutting it straight right now. And I'm gonna turn this over. Now you can do part of it at a time or you can rip off the whole thing. Now something this small, I think ripping off the whole thing might work the best. I'm gonna stick that on there. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to make a little cut right here in the crease. And that's just going to help the contact paper stay in place. So you are going to have this little blue line, but it's going to stay on a lot better. Hopefully, through the magic of editing, that was not as painful for you to watch as it was for me to do. I did find out the easiest way was the craft knife. Now. If I've never told you that I'm a craft hoarder before, yeah, I'm a craft hoarder. This is contact paper that my mom had when I was a baby. I was born in 69, and I remember she covered the back of a dresser and then put my crib behind there, so I had like my own, my own little room with this contact paper. So it's super old, but it's super cute. So I'm going 
to grab a couple of flowers from this. Now, if you don't have 50 year old contact paper, you could definitely just use stickers or you could make your own out of duct tape or vinyl. If you have a die cutting machine or just cut them out by hand. Um, that would be super cute as well. Next, I'm going to show you something that I've had my students do for years and years. First, you want a piece of yarn. Um, and you want it, you know, fairly long. I'm going to use some duct tape this time, some fun looking duct tape and a pencil. And I'm going to, my duct tape, tape is almost out. Oh no, this was a fun color too. Okay, well, we're gonna make it work. I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna put it on my duct tape and I'm gonna cover my pencil. Now, you can also do this without making it um, as pretty as I'm trying to make mine. You could just use plain old regular duct tape and just tape that yarn to your pencil. But if you have fun, pretty duct tape, why not make your pencil pretty too? Now I'm going to take the other end and I'm going to tie it into the ring on my binder and I can put it in the pocket here so that I always have a pencil and I'm not going to forget it or lose it. And this has worked really well. I've used this when I taught second grade. I've used this with middle schoolers. Um, they all seem to lose their pencils. And so this is just a really good way of having it tied to your binder. All right, so let's see all the school supplies that we've created. This cool paper folder with the acrylic paint. And I went ahead and attached a pen to the top ring here so that you don't lose your pen. And this could be like maybe for one of your classes or something, and you always have your pen with you. Here is our spiral notebook that is covered in wrapping paper. And putting the glue on the top gives it a little bit of a harder coating, a little bit more plasticky, so it doesn't rip as easily. We have our composition book that has all these cool colors of washi on them. Our binder that's covered in contact paper. And inside we have a pencil covered in duct tape that is tied with yarn to the ring so that you're not going to lose your pencil. We have a couple of cute pencils that have been covered in washi tape. And a little pencil box with some stickers. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you'll take a little bit of time and make some of your school or office supplies just a little bit cuter. Like this video by giving it a thumbs up. Share it with some of your friends. As of filming right now, I am like six subscribers away from meeting my goal of a thousand. So if you could share it with a friend or two, I would really appreciate that. And leave a comment and tell me which thing that you think you might wanna do first. Thank you so much for watching. Toodles.